Hi there, it's Faye. Today I wanted to talk to you about Chef RPG, an upcoming simulation chef pixel game that you might have heard about on Kickstarter or even on the Pixel Architect YouTube channel. In Chef RPG, you are a traveling chef given the task of reviving Le Sequoia, a once famous restaurant in White Ash Harbor. Begin your new life in this beautiful seaside town, which was once a thriving tourist destination. You will have to hunt, harvest, and shop for ingredients, and you can even befriend fascinating locals along the way. What kind of chef will you be? When you first lay your eyes on Chef RPG, it's hard not to notice the gorgeous spread of pixel art, both in the environment and particularly in the character portraits. The little pixel sprites are cute, but what is truly jaw-dropping and mouth-watering are these character portraits and little food sprites. Hazel is my favorite from the trailer, who seems to run a bubble tea shop and says, Hi, bubble teas are like solar systems for tiny tapioca planets. We'll come back to NPCs in a moment, but let's take a look at Chef RPG's game mechanics. This game is inspired by Gordon Ramsay's Great Escape TV show, as well as a bunch of games like Restaurant City, Stardew Valley, Eastward, and more. In Gordon's show, he highlights that many chefs will collect their own ingredients in the wilderness. And Chef RPG is looking to incorporate restaurant management gameplay, as well as the quote, exploration, foraging, and socialization aspects of games like Stardew Valley to form a holistic chef experience. There will be a main storyline in Chef RPG and a bunch of side quests to tackle as well. The game is promising us a customizable skill tree, and you can hone your skills to match your own playstyle and bring your restaurant to the top. You can aim to create the most delicious dishes of all, or maybe your reputation will balloon just by featuring rare ingredients. There seems to be some allusion to charisma and marketing, and how having a strong network of friends can put your restaurant on the map. This might be a niche reference, but in the anime Hunter x Hunter, essentially hunters are elite military strong force people. But they all have their own focuses, and some of them are literally elite chefs that go out and hunt huge monsters and other animals for rare ingredients, and that's how they stay at the top. Anyway, in addition to the skill tree, <laughs> there are five total restaurant operation modes in Chef RPG. These are called restaurant, social house, pub, confectionery, and tea house. And they each have different benefits and challenges. I don't know about you, but hearing that list makes my little entrepreneur heart go doki doki, especially with the confectionery and tea house options. When it comes to actually gathering ingredients, you can hit the sea with your fishing rod, hunt boars and crabs and other creatures, or rely on foraging for fruits and plants for a vegetarian experience. There are over 200 recipes to collect in Chef RPG. And again, this pixel art food, oh, it looks so good. Different activities will reward different recipes, and I'm really curious to see which side quests potentially give recipes. I'm 99% sure you won't need all 200 recipes to have a successful restaurant, and I just love looking at side quests and figuring out how to make my favorite dish in game. Once you have the ingredients you need for your recipes, you'll be able to tackle the cooking mini games. Eventually, you'll be able to hire chefs to cook for you, but at the start, you'll have to prepare all the dishes yourself. It does sound like the cooking mini games are optional, which I'm excited about as an accessibility feature, and also as a way of maybe suggesting that the mini games are an early game feature, whereas later on you'll have more to manage and less time to cook. Once your dish is ready, you'll have to serve it, of course. There are hundreds of unique furniture pieces, and there's a style system in place that incentivizes you to place more decorative items. Eventually, you'll be able to hire waiters who could help you out on managing your restaurant, but also actually run the restaurant while you're away. This kind of reminds me of the Sims 4 Dine Out Game Pack in which you can run your own restaurant. A lot of Sims players report that the Dine Out Game Pack make restaurant management a little bit too hard in terms of having a very profitable spot. Which is of course up to your own opinion, but in my experience, I have definitely struggled to do well on the Sims 4 restaurant management while my Sim was there. I could not imagine running the restaurant without my Sim there. So it'll be really cool to see how Chef RBG handles your restaurant being open when you're out maybe getting ingredients or completing side quests. Your social skill tree ties directly into your ability to hire staff members. And I'm assuming that's why the social skill tree can directly affect your success in the restaurant if you want to go the charisma route. While the main game loop in Chef RPG relates to your restaurant and keeping it running, there seems to be an expansively huge world to explore outside of your own little entrepreneurship. There is a day-night cycle in the game, and this little section on the Kickstarter hints to other areas of the map. You can climb a volcano to gather a rare herb, visit a famous bathhouse, and hang out with the locals. And you can even take a train to Billboard City to check out the city's famous culinary academy. Similar to Farming Sims, there will be different seasons and weather to experience in Chef RPG, 
and this will affect the harvestable ingredients, whether those are forage items, the animals you're hunting, and even the behaviors of NPCs. Aesthetically, Chef RBG is trying to feature a mix of Asian and Western architecture. Additionally, the devs mention an intentional clash between tradition and technology, which is something that I think a lot of indie game fans like us will love. And speaking of that clash affecting both the architecture and character design, I promised we'd come back. Let's take a look at the NPCs. On the Chef RPG Kickstarter page, there are 24 NPCs displayed, and holy heck, this is what we're talking about when we want to see diversity. We've talked about diversity in games before, particularly in farming sims. And while the scope of a game will, of course, affect the number of NPCs you have, and therefore can affect the diversity you have in a game, let's be real, it's 2022 and I don't want to play your game if you only have white straight men. From the ethereal purple-skinned Hazel, to the emo Vi from League of Legends Bianca, to the gorgeous confident Fleur, the smirk on Najet, to the out of this world Angi, and with this little note on the bottom that says more characters to come, it's easy to say that Chef RBG is spoiling us with range when it comes to their NPC creation. You will be able to encounter unique characters and develop friendships and romances with these NPCs. And while it's kind of an understatement to say how excited I am to see these character portraits, if I had to point out a flaw or maybe a point of improvement, it would be in the body types of the femme presenting NPCs. We do have a little bit of diversity in body types. The seam seems pretty slim and Ame seems very muscular, for example, but a lot of the femme characters do still seem to have a similar body type. But again, if I had to give a score or ranking for diversity in games, Chef RPG is already blowing it out of the water. And I think this says a lot of good things about the dev team. The Kickstarter for Chef RPG ended in December of 2021 with $170,000 raised of a $50,000 goal, with tiers ranging from $25 all the way up to $3,000. These are Canadian dollars, by the way. And what I found most interesting about this Kickstarter is the inclusion of what is called Epic Rewards. Epic Rewards were featured in tiers $350 and up, it seems, and included in-game unique assets, such as a character statue, a mounted statue, or a custom portrait of your own design. If you backed Chef RPG at one of these tiers, your character or whatever you submitted for this custom reward will be featured in the Culinary Academy of Billboard City in-game, and every other player who ever plays Chef RPG and visits Billboard City will see your chef's portrait or statue, etc. Now, of course, it's unrealistic to think that most or anything close to most of backers would be able to afford this, but I do think that this is a very unique reward and the organization of this Kickstarter really speaks to the depth of the game as well. While the Kickstarter has ended, you can still support the game by pre-ordering a digital copy or a digital copy in Alpha Access or even some physical rewards over on Backerkit. And the game is set to release in September of 2023. Before you go, I wanted to touch on the Pixel Architect YouTube channel which is a YouTube channel run by Noah, one of the devs behind Chef RPG. You see, Chef RPG started as the passion project of Noah, the project lead programmer and one of the pixel artists, who's actually a professional architectural designer. Noah currently runs the YouTube channel Pixel Architect and has posted a lot of videos on Chef RPG specifically, but also about how architecture, design, programming, and pixel art can all come together to create a more cohesive and beautiful game. I really enjoyed the architectural designer creates a pixel art town video, which also dives a little bit into the start of Chef RPG and a more current video called Technique for Creating Beautiful Level Design. The Pixel Architect YouTube channel, while it is not called the Chef RPG YouTube channel, inarguably provides a lot of value to the Chef RPG game and visibility. The channel has about 87,000 subscribers right now, and let's face it, it has a lot of appeal for people who are fans of the game, new fans of the game, programmers, artists, and creative minds alike who just want to see the behind the scenes of something beautiful. As a creator myself, I absolutely love this YouTube channel, and I love how much it's doing for the game dev community, as well as Chef RPG specifically. So what do you think of Chef RPG? As you can tell, I'm so excited for this game and I really do think it's worth the hype. Let me know what you think of Chef RPG below and whether or not you're going to pre-order the game or wait to see more. If you typically only like farming games, what do you think of Chef RPG? And I'll see you here next time for more simulation, farming, and other indie cozy games. Bye.